Well, hey there, everybody. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me for another episode today. Uh, about to go out on a banana run here in a little bit. Uh, haven't hit on any sale bananas in four or five, six days, so I'm kind of going to go every day and see if I can't uh, scoop up some cheap bananas. Um, because as you know, I go through a lot of bananas. Let's get right to it. Today I want to talk about how you should try my raw food diet mindfulness tip. Um, guys, I do videos every day, so if you haven't already done it yet, go down there and hit that subscribe button now. And then as soon as you do that, click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Uh, this video, this idea, idea for this video just kind of popped up earlier this morning. You know, um, lately through my mindfulness uh, meditation practice, I'm as I keep going on and on, I try to expand it more, and I try to take it from just my sitting meditation practice to using in day to day life, and actually, and just generally trying to be in a state of mindfulness as much as possible just being aware of the things going on. And that's really all mindfulness is, is just being in the moment, being present um, and being aware. So I had never really thought about it from this aspect before, but um, I think I was laying in bed this morning and it just came to me, Eureka. And I'm thinking, well, I think this could be used as well for um, people on their food journey. Um, I think one thing I'm learning in in this practice is is just um, being aware of things, accepting what is, and not necessarily having judgments on them. Not necessarily having this, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is good. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. I should have done that. I shouldn't have thought this. I shouldn't think that. I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing that. But mindfulness is just simply of being aware of what's go of what you're doing just mindful of your actions because when we're mindful of our actions um, you know we probably will tend to maybe not do some of the things that we don't want to do so much and as the saying goes what we resist persist so you know when people when you're actually trying to avoid look at a food as bad put it out of your mind block it out that's kind of, i kind of equate that and that's the same thing to when you're meditating or practicing mindfulness is trying to block out the thoughts the thoughts are going to come you know you're not going to block out the thoughts and that's one thing like uh, that i've really learned over the course of uh doing this meditation is not trying to block out thoughts so in the consequently, don't try to, you know, don't try to remove the food from your mind. Just be aware of it. Be mindful of it. Acknowledge it. You know, you have a craving. Acknowledge that craving. Don't try to, um, you know, go the opposite way instead of, of what we instinctually go. If you start having a craving, don't try to put that craving out of your mind. Actually become very mindful of that craving. What I want you to do here is, and this is going to be the tip, the trick, whatever you want to call it, I want you to be mindful of everything you're experiencing. And when it comes to food, like I say, there's a process and we'll take it right down the line from one progression to another. Uh, from craving to you actually eating something that probably doesn't serve you that well. But what I would like to see you do instead of beating yourself up, instead of trying to block it out, instead of trying to put it out of your mind, embrace it. Pay attention to it. Take, take something from it. So you start getting that craving. You have a craving for something specific. Okay, start thinking about that specific thing actually tune in like you know be aware of this why you know how does this craving feel um you know what is this particular thing i'm craving what's the reason i don't okay you can have a little bit of inner dialogue with yourself what's the reason that i'm craving this why do i crave this item um, and you know, just just be very present with it. But be mindful of the craving. Don't don't try to uh, like I say suppress it. Don't try to resist it. Don't try to pretend it's not there. Just be mindful of that craving. Now, as we go through each one of these, like um, that might be enough. Just sitting with that in your mind and being mindful and going through it and being just like okay. But once again, no emotion here. No judgment. Um, the closest I would come to labeling as good and bad is would just to be, as you're being mindful, just be mindful of why you try not to eat this or be mindful more, let's keep it positive, be mindful of why 
you're eating like you do in the first place, why you're trying to follow the lifestyle you do in the first place. Um, and I would just say kind of keep going with this, even if, even if that doesn't stop it. And we're not, that's not the focus right there. Like I say, think of this as a longer term practice. Um, you know, you're not going to necessarily in one time being mindful of a craving is not going to just make them go away or it's not going to help you to deal with them or, you know, what, you know what I'm trying to say here. Um, but all through the process, I want you to be very aware of what you're doing, acknowledge what you're doing. Um, if it gets to the point, maybe you have something actually physically in your house um, that you're craving or that you're about to eat or that you want to eat or that's something that you've had a hard time um, giving up. Actually, go pick it up. Go pick it up. Hold it in your hands. Look at it. Embrace it. I mean, actually really be mindful and present with it. You know, examine it for all, from all angles. Think about it. Think about how it would taste. Think about how it would taste when you put it in your mouth. But here's also another one, too, and that we can just throw a little kink in there on the mindfulness. And I used to do this quite a bit, so I'll throw, a, I'll kind of mix a few, a couple of tips in here, is imagine that food. Imagine that food. You've just put it in your mouth. Okay, yes, it tastes really good. There's foods I haven't eaten in six or seven years that I know if I put in my mouth. I know if I put a barbecued rib in my mouth right now, the initial taste on my tongue would be very good. I would enjoy that. But I know what certain foods do to my body. It was like after I became raw for the first time and I was living in San Jose, Costa Rica, I used to love going and getting a slice of pizza. But afterwards, once I knew about dairy, once I knew what that cheese did going through my body, I would envision that. So in a way, I was mindful there. I would be like, okay, I really, I want a piece of pizza. I like that cheese. I like that gooey stuff. So from a, you know, from a, you know, from a pleasure aspect, yes, I know it would be good. But immediately I flip over and I know I'm, I'm imagining that travel through my body and the effects that it has on my body. Once again, just being very mindful, being very present in your everyday life, it, it, you'll just find a lot of different applications for this. Now, let's say you get to the point and you're like, you know, you've had the craving and you've been mindful of your craving and you've sat with your craving for a little bit and just felt like what a craving was. Because a craving is different from eating something bad that you don't want to. So you've gone from, you've been mindful about a craving, you've actually gotten the food that you're thinking about or that you're thinking about eating either right now or it's maybe a food that you have a problem with on a regular basis. You've been, you've sat, you've been mindful with that too. You've really, you know, you've embraced uh, whatever that food was. Okay, so the next one is, is maybe you get to the point and even through all that, maybe you're still going to eat it. Maybe you're still going to eat it. And once again, the point here is not to beat yourself up, not to think of it as a failure, not to think of it as, well, the mindfulness didn't work for me. This takes practice. It takes, listen, I'm still constantly catching myself, trying to be more mindful every day. But if you get to the point, or I would say, you know, wherever you are on your journey, if you're eating stuff you really are trying not to quite regularly, be observant when you're eating that food. Be aware of that food. Don't try to block it out. You know, don't sit there in shame and scarf it down in the dark and not talk about it and try to be like, la, 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 I'm not eating this. No, be very aware of it. Be aware of the texture. Be aware of the taste. Be aware of how it feels going down through your body. Be aware of how it feels immediately after it goes into your body. Be aware of how it feels, um, you know, two, three hours later, the next day. But you, you kind of get what I'm getting at here. It's a lot of it is just very repetitive. Is um, like I say, not is just sitting with this, being aware of it. I know I'm repeating myself over and over and over, but that's really all the mindfulness is, is just being in that moment. If you're going to eat that, whatever you're going to eat, be in that moment. Take something from it. Be present. But I believe if you would do this on a regular basis and you would make it sort of a practice, 
and make it sort of a practice with no judgment on yourself, that's very important because if you start judging yourself, it kind of gets, it takes, it defeats the whole purpose um, and it's more or less not going to help you any, but you know, just be more mindful and do it over and over and over through the cravings or like I say, through just taking something uh, that's a trouble for you and just sitting with it in your hands, watch it, looking at it, observing it, um, you know, not, not demonizing it. And also when you are eating things that um, maybe you're trying not to eat, or even if you're on your transition and you know that eventually maybe you're not beating yourself up, but you're on your transition and you know eventually you're not going to eat this anymore, but you're on your transition. Be very mindful when you're eating those transitional foods. But the, I'll finish up with this. Mindfulness in life is a wonderful thing. It will change your life. It will change your life. And I'm to, I, I believe completely it will help you on this journey as well. So maybe some of you guys out there that are struggling a little bit, give this a little bit of a try and let me know uh, what you think. But um, once again, just, uh, just kind of a little trick, a little tip. Um, it, all the tools we have, you know, as many tools as we can have, uh, we can't have too many. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.